Hi again, Christine Patterson here. I, in this short video, I just want to share a few things about myself by way of introduction. Hopefully this will convey something of why it's important to me and to all of us here at Field Partner to help people to, who want to cross into another culture to do so successfully. Looking back over my life, I realize I have been hugely privileged to spend a substantial amount of time on three different continents. I was born and raised in Africa to start with. I lived in Rwanda and Burundi and went to school largely in, in Uganda and Kenya until I was 13. Then I was sent to Europe, specifically the UK, to finish my education with a year abroad in journey, Germany thrown in during my university course. My husband and I then lived back in the UK for more than a decade later on while raising our family. A large part of my adult life, adult life though, has been spent in Asia, 13 years in Singapore and about the same length of time in my case so far in Taiwan. That represents a lot of cross-cultural living. And that's not counting India, where we sent our children to school for two years. A long story, not for now. Nor China, where we have worked and facilitated others to work for several decades. Nor the States, where we now have two of our children living with our families, where we visit frequently. Nor several other nations that we travel to in the course of our work. Over all these years, I feel as though I have seen cross-cultural living from all sorts of different perspectives. I've seen it from the misfit perspective of a child who loved Africa, I still do, but who knew by the colour of her skin that she didn't belong there. Any more than she belonged in England when she was supposedly sent home at the start of her teens. I've seen it from the perspective of an adult seeking to learn Chinese language and culture in my 20s. And I've seen it from the perspective of a mother with kids who were struggling to navigate in several different cultures during my 40s. More recently, Ross and I have also had the role of trainer in cross-cultural living, seeking to help others to learn and adapt to a new culture. Does all of this make me or any of us in the team an expert in this regard? No, it really doesn't. What it does give us, though, is lots of experience that we want to pass on. And here's the point. For none of what I've just outlined did either Ross or I have any specific training. And so, for the lack of such training, we feel we had to learn so many lessons the hard way, making lots of cultural mistakes along the line. This is what fuels our passion about the need for training, so as to help people from make a good job of crossing into a new culture. And, by the way, avoid making the mistakes we did. Nowadays, people talk about cultural intelligence as a skill one can learn, and it's our desire to help people learn it, hence this course. So no, we're not experts, if by that you mean people who have degrees in intercultural studies and the like. We're not academic at all when it comes to this issue. For us, it's intensely practical. It's about passing on the lessons we have learned, along with lashings of encouragement to keep on going when things get tough. It will be worth it, we say, just don't give up. So here we are on the brink of something new. We just want to help you with whatever you are facing as you start out or continue on your cross-cultural journey. That's why this is more than a course. We want to build a community where we can all learn from each other and provide support for one another. If any of this resonates with you, I encourage you to contact us here and give us your name and email address. Join our community and tell us what we can help you with. And give us your feedback as to what we can do better. Thanks for listening.